Hi folks and welcome to another video tutorial. I'm going to have a look at the sheep heart dissection this time. And as you can see we've got um, some students getting ready for the sheep heart dissection. And the first thing you're going to want to do is wash off your sheep heart, uh, preferably up here at the front sink. Um, there is soap available obviously for washing things up, but don't, uh, don't wash the hearts. Um, another thing we've got available sometimes for you are these trendy uh, plastic aprons here and here you can see the heart right there in the center so you can wear those if we've got them available. Okay so we're going to have a look at the next slide. Alright so here's the class um, they're into the dissection looks to me like this is actually a fetal pig dissection uh, there's the there's the bag that the fetal pigs often come in. But as you can see, the students are also wearing their nice, uh, trendy plastic aprons as well. All right, so let's get into the actual parts of the heart. So once you get your heart, you're going to be putting it into this uh, dissection tray and um, doing most of your examination there. Of course, you're going to be wearing gloves as well. Now, you're going to want to examine the external anatomy of the heart in addition to the internal stuff. So look at the external stuff first, uh, front and back, top and bottom. And when you're ready to open up the heart and look inside, you're going to be using a scalpel here to make sort of a longitudinal incision right down the middle. Uh, this looks to me to be the apex of the heart, which is the very tip uh, that you'd find along the bottom, sort of a pointed area. Um, and you're going to be cutting down through that all the way through to the very end to separate the halves. So let's have have a look at that. Okay, so here is a nice half of a heart, very uh, neatly cut open. Uh, the apex is this region down here I was talking about. Okay, now the first thing to do is to try and identify which side are you looking at. Is this the left or is this the right? Well, what I see in this picture, the first thing my eye goes to is this, right? There is the lab manual with some dissection pictures in there to help you out. But aside from that, what you want to do is look at the thickness of the walls, all right? And here you can see that this side is quite a bit thicker than this side over here, all right? So because of that, we can tell that this side is the left side with the left ventricle down here, and this side is the right side with just a little bit of the right ventricle showing. And that's going to happen based on how you make your cuts. It's not always going to look uh, perfect like some of the models you see. So let's walk through as many of the structures as we can and try to identify them. All right, well, since the left side uh, looks a little bit more detailed, let's deal with that. So you come up here to the top, and you will see this structure that sort of sits on top on the left-hand side again. Like, I know this is the, the right side for you, but it's the left side of the, of the, of the sheep heart. And this part here is called the left auricle, which is like a cap or a flap that sits over this chamber here. You can see that's the left atrium itself. So this is where oxygenated blood has come back from the lungs, and it's now in the left atrium. Now when the left atrium contracts, the blood is going to move down through here, and this region here, and I hope maybe in another slide it's a little bit zoomed in, but this region right here is a valve. It's called an AV valve for atrioventricular because it's between the atrium and the ventricle. So that's an AV valve and that helps control uh, the direction of blood flow. When the ventricle squeezes, the blood won't go back up here uh, into the left atrium because of the valve. Uh, look at these little fibers here. You can see these are called chordae tendinae and they're sort of like um, the cords to hold your tent uh, to prevent it from blowing in the wind and these help prevent the, the, the valve flap from from pushing back into the atrium. So those are the chordae tendinae and the blood moves down from the atrium and now it's in the left ventricle. And as you can see, as I mentioned out, uh, I mentioned a little bit before, very thick wall for the ventricle so that when the ventricle squeezes uh, the blood is going to move up through here. It can't get back into the atrium so it's going to move up through here in this direction okay into the aorta which we'll talk about in a second so when that ventricle contracts and the blood comes up um, there is another valve right here alright and that's the aortic semilunar valve it's got two flaps sort of it looks like a half moon whatever and that keeps the blood going into the aorta and the aorta is this region right here it's a very large blood vessel which carries the blood up to the brain and down to the rest of the body down here Okay, so what else can we see here? 
Well, in the middle, right here, is a region that separates the right side of the heart from the left. So this region is called the septum, very thick wall here. And um, if we just go on to the other side, we can see a little bit of what looks to be the right atrium and the right ventricle down here. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. All right, now, if I tell you that this is still the left side of the heart, can you identify the chamber here? This is the left atrium, right? And underneath the left atrium, you can see a little bit of the valve flap. That's the AV valve that connects the atrium to the ventricle down here. And you can really see the chordae tendinae that secure that valve. They look really, really nice in that shot. The septum here in the middle. The right, looks like the right ventricle on this side. And up here, you can see that atrium I was talking about before. Or sorry, the the um, the oracle, uh, the, the left oracle right there. And it looks to me like we see a little bit of the aorta as well right there. Okay, here is a nice view of the two sides of the heart separated. So let's just go through a couple of the structures and see if we can identify them. First of all, we've got the septum in the middle, right? Now, once again, look for which side is thicker. All right, so once again, that's thick that's thick so these two halves would have been together that's the left side of the heart so that this is the left ventricle right in this region we've got a thin side here so that's going to be the right the, the right side of the heart and you can see the right ventricle in there and in there so it's a lot smaller than the left side right uh, back up to here we've got the left atrium okay where's the left atrium here somewhere in there left atrium um, you can see as the blood comes up from the left ventricle, it comes up here, all through there. So that would be the aorta. And on the other side, coming up through here, the aorta. And finally, we can also see the right atrium, a little bit better now here and over here. All right. So now we're zoomed in. Notice how thin this uh, side of the wall is. And there's the septum. So which chamber is this? You can see a valve there. This is the right ventricle, right through here, tracing it out. The right ventricle, we can see an AV valve in there. We can see the, uh, looks like the left atrium over here on this side as well. All right, so hope that helped. We'll see you again soon.